Today I'm gonna show you two ways how you can convert your handwriting to type text on an iPad or even your iPhone. This video is brought to you by my Paperless Movement Inner Circle members, an engaging community where we discuss everything paperless. Besides the forum, however, members also get access to my personal vlog, discounts for paperless equipment and free access to my online courses. What I will show you here is part of my online course Paperless Note Taking Like a Pro, in which I will explain to you in much more detail how to take paperless notes in the most efficient and productive way. But now let's have a look at how to convert your handwriting to text. The first and most obvious method would be using a note-taking app that provides handwriting to text conversion. In my last video, I compared my six favorite note-taking apps, Notechef, Notability, GoodNotes 5, Nebo, Zoom Notes, and Notes Plus, and all of them offer handwriting to text conversion. However, the way how they convert text differs. In Nebo, you already see the text conversion appearing above your handwriting. This gives you the advantage to correct while you are writing any mistakes. Simply strike through words and letters or choose another recommended word from the list provided above. Once finished writing, you simply double tap to convert your handwriting and then you can simply export the text to any messenger or your email program. By underlining text, you can make headings or change text color and by drawing squares around the text, you will highlight it. I want to mention this because this formatting will be passed on when exported to supported apps like Microsoft Word. You can even draw diagrams that will be converted to PowerPoint diagrams and also handwritten equations are no problem for Nebu to convert. No other note-taking app can do this to date. However, I still want to talk about GoodNotes 5 which is also special when it comes to handwriting to text conversion. In GoodNotes 5, you have to select handwritten text and then convert it as you would do it in Notechef, Notability, Notes Plus and Zoom Notes. Then you simply will be presented with a box that previews the conversion. In here, you have the chance to make corrections. You can then copy it to any other app you like. However, the big difference is that GoodNotes 5 also supports drag and drop functionality. This means you can simply select your handwriting, then press, hold and drag it into another app's text field. This will convert your handwriting on the fly into type text. This is great when you want to add tasks to a task manager or information to a calendar directly from your notes. But maybe you don't want to open a note-taking app in order to convert your handwriting to text. Instead, you want to write directly into your email or messenger app. No problem, there's a solution to this too. MyScript, the developers of Nebo, offered an awesome handwriting keyboard a while ago, but it was discontinued and is no longer available in the App Store. However, they are selling the licenses for their handwriting conversion engine to other companies. In fact, all of the six note-taking apps mentioned before are using this engine. Masek is a handwriting keyboard available in the App Store, which also uses the MyScripts engine. Once you download it and you follow the installation's instructions, you can use Masek by simply tapping and holding the globe icon on your keyboard. The handwriting keyboard is very simple to use and works pretty much the same way as you are used to it from Nebu. When you are writing above your words, you will be presented with a list of conversion options. Just tap on the three dots to see more options to choose from. Just keep writing until the end and it will automatically move the text to the left to give you more space to write. And in order to add the text to your text field, just tap on enter and it's done. Using any of these two methods, it is possible to replace your keyboard with an Apple Pencil or stylus. I personally still prefer writing long texts using a keyboard, but if I'm brainstorming or making meeting notes, I prefer to use the Apple Pencil. There are scientific reasons why our brain processes handwritten text better than typed text. And I actually explain this in my ebook, Paperless Note Taking Like a Pro, if you're interested to learn more about it. So if you think this video was useful, then give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. Subscribe to this channel if you haven't already, and I will catch you up next time or in the inner circle.